Tampa, just 24 hours after filing preliminary paperwork, Governor Lamont is now officially running for re-election in 2022. News Talk Connecticut's John Craven with the story. Welcome to North End Elementary School. It started out as a press conference on teachers, but at the end, Governor Lamont officially announced his re-election bid. I'm ready to go. Just 24 hours earlier, Lamont filed as a candidate but he told reporters he still wasn't sure. I've got to make up my mind formally in the months to come, but I figure let's be prepared, let's file the paperwork, let's get this thing going. A recent poll says 52% of Connecticut voters would re-elect the governor. Under Lamont, Connecticut has one of the lowest COVID rates in the nation and one of the highest vaccination rates. Going to throw on first down. He also got sports betting passed, plus legal marijuana. I wouldn't want to be at 52% if I was a sitting governor. But Republicans think they have a good chance. We won this thing! Especially after a GOP win in Virginia last week. And here in Connecticut, Republicans flipped more than a dozen towns. Republicans who stopped the tax increases that Ned Lamont wanted, it's governor. Republicans who stopped the tolls in Connecticut. Among Republicans, Lamont's last opponent, Bob Stefanowski, housed a huge lead over former House GOP leader Themis Claritus. But 40% of voters are still undecided. No matter who it is, Governor Lamont says he's ready. Yeah, because I think the state made extraordinary progress over the last three years. Uh, we had uh, moving vans leaving the state, and I think three years later, uh, the moving vans have turned around. Businesses are coming back to the state. Now, that was John Craven reporting. So far, neither Bob Stefanowski nor Themis Claritus are officially in the race.